Anupi Singla quit her job as a local morning TV reporter in 2007 to get some sleep, write a cookbook, and spend time with her two young daughters. Entrepreneurship was not on her list. Thanks, Aria. While testing recipes for her first book, The Indian Slow Cooker, Singla grew frustrated with her masala daba, the traditional spice box found in almost every Indian home kitchen. It irritated me that I had to go and grab a knife and level off my measuring spoons and grab measuring spoons that did not come with the box because the box traditionally comes with this little tiny spoon. No one knows what the measurement is. And so that's where the idea came from. I had no idea how to create a, a, a product. I didn't even think that I could do it. But with the help of her consultant husband, Sandeep Gupta, she created a company, Indian as Apple Pie, and a product, the Spice Tiffin, a masala daba modernized. Singla added a cover on each tin for leveling spoons and included both a teaspoon and a tablespoon for precision. In India, they don't really measure things, right? So they'll just use a, a, a little bit of this, a pinch of this, and uh, a pinch of that. So with this, the little containers have this little half moon, which it seems like a really simple, simple thing, but sometimes the simple things make the most sense. What made less sense? A stranger who approached her booth of prototypes at the 2009 Housewares show and offered a food entrepreneur's dream a foot in the door at upscale kitchenware retailer William Sonoma. She basically approached my husband, said, I love this product, and I'd love to give you an email of somebody that I think that you should reach out to at William Sonoma. After about a couple days, maybe a week, I emailed the email address, got an email response back saying, hey, we're interested, send us a sample, the box sent a sample. A week later, I get a phone call from a 415 number on my cell. I remember that day thinking, that's interesting, I wonder who that is. It was a buyer from Williams Sonoma saying, hey, I, I hear that you've been speaking to our president. And my jaw dropped because I'd never Googled Richard Harvey's name that was in the email. I just assumed that he was a buyer at Williams Sonoma. Turns out that he's a president of Williams Sonoma Brands. And um, from that point, the whole process moved a little bit faster than normal. Williams Sonoma wanted the Tiffin, but initially offered a wholesale price too low for Gupta, who was concerned about the fluctuating price of steel. The emotional side of it, to be able to represent that, hey, we're in one of the premium retailers in the country, I mean, that was a very difficult negotiation in that regard. So we didn't want to lose the relationship or the opportunity there, but we, we, I also knew it didn't make sense to sell stuff at a loss. They agreed on a price, and now the Tiffin is carried in 30 of the company's biggest locations, where Singla teaches cooking classes and promotes the product, which is made in India. Finding the right factory to make the Tiffin was no easy task, and quality control has been an issue. After two runs at a deli manufacturer, Singla is now looking at options in Mumbai. We'd open boxes and a box was missing, or we would have a lid missing, or something was loose, or something like that was, you know, needed to be fixed or repaired. And so the frustration was we felt that we needed to inspect every single box before we sent it out. So we still feel like we need to do that before we send them out until we feel comfortable with our manufacturer and know that they meet the same level of uh, quality standards that we do. The Spice Tiffin is entering a crowded retail houseware space estimated at more than $300 billion worldwide according to most recent figures. Expanding the market for her product is one of Singla's biggest challenges, says Kantha Shelke, a food industry expert who advises her. She's got a cookbook. The cookbook readers reach out for more, so they automatically jump onto and see the tins. But there is a bigger market out there, people who may not have heard of her b book, but who want to cook authentic Indian meals and who know about these tins, but don't quite know where to get it and most of all what kind of spices to fill it with. So she has to somehow figure out how to educate her retailers in how to position these tins and how to get to these disparate markets. Singla is already working on ways to expand the Tiffin's reach, marketing it to other ethnic cooks for baking ingredients, oatmeal toppings, and other uses. She's also designing a set of labels for customers to buy with the canisters. Did you get that from Nevada? 
Singla sells a set of spices to go with the tiffin and is also currently developing a line of simmering sauces which she hopes to start selling in the spring at local grocers. Last summer, she published her second book, Vegan Indian Cooking, which along with her first are Amazon.com's top sellers in their category. No joking allowed. She'll soon start working on a third book about traditional Indian dishes and healthier ways to prepare them. Hi, welcome. Singla recently hosted an Indian supper club at her home for side tour and wants to do more of them and is even considering a pop-up restaurant. Singla is not a trained chef, but she sees her role as more of an information provider, a nod to her former career in journalism. See, now tell me more about the details on how I cooked it. I always say there's better cooks out there, but what I knew is I'm really good at teaching and I'm really good at um, researching as a reporter. So I knew that I could bring storylines together and pull it all together and also pull together this point of view of being Indian raised in America. I'm happy just signing a few cookbooks here and there, but you know, every day something new comes up and we start thinking of ideas on, and ways to grow the business. This is Lisa Leiter for Crane Chicago Business.